find the first partial derivatives of this function. So the function can be written as f of x, y. I like to write it like this because it shows me how many independent variables there are clearly. And that's two independent variables, which means there's going to be two partial derivatives. So the number of independent variables is what you can look at. And I like this format because it shows me that. So let's let's do let's do let's find the partial derivative. So the partial of f with respect to x, partial of f with respect to y. Those are the two. Now let's take the x one first. We have to treat y as a constant. Well, this is going to involve the product rule because if we leave x first and then we take the derivative of this term, that's going to be times derivative of sine is cosine and then x y times the derivative of the inside again we're, again i'm just taking the derivative of this term and we're leaving this term to be alone first so cosine x y and then times the derivative of the inside with respect to x is going to give you just y because your y is your constant and x derivative of x is one that's what you end up with for the first term but you're not done because you have to add that to Derivative of x, this is the easier one, it's just 1, and then times leaving sine of x, y alone. And is this it? Well, really it is, because you have x times sine of x, y, and you're taking the derivative of this stuff. You can you can do what I just did, and it's going to work out. So that's literally your answer. So you can simplify if you wanted to. Um, I will. x, y, cosine. It's not really simplification, it's just regrouping um, or rewriting, really, sine of x, y. That is your answer. Again, how did I get this? I basically set y to be a constant, and then if I set y to be a constant, it's like sine of 7x or something, and then we have x times that, so we have x, and then so we basically use the product rule with this uh, with this problem. That's it. Okay, so similarly we can do that here, and this one's actually easier because x is a constant, so we can leave it there. We don't need to use the product rule. And then the derivative of this is still going to be cosine of x, y times the derivative of the inside, leaving y, sorry, leaving x as a constant since we're doing it with respect to y. There's just going to be x because y, sorry, because uh, y is your variable that you are doing, you're taking the derivative with respect to. And so x is your constant, and so it's just going to be x because the derivative of y is 1. x squared times cosine of x, y ends up being your solution to this problem. And that is that is all you need to do for this problem.